The shooting, the demonstrations, the destruction, the rebuilding, it falls under one name for most of the country, Ferguson. But neighboring communities say that shorthand leaves them out. Yeah, Delwood bore much of the burden in the 2014 unrest, and as our Sarah Maki reports, they've made much of the progress in the five years since. Sarah's live in Delwood. Yeah, so this business on West Florissant was mostly glass, but it was all damaged. And when they rebuilt, they used these solid walls. Now owners, they have turned off their open sign for the night, but they say they are so proud that they have never taken it down over the past five years. This auto body shop is still recovering five years after their building and bottom line was damaged. They flipped the car over in front, tried to burn down the front of the building and uh, kind of attacked uh, everything they could put their hands on. Owner Kurt Barks says business dropped by more than a third overnight. We spent about 110,000 rebuilding um, and remodeling fees, but we lost about a million five in revenue over the next 18 months. Uh, it really put us in a dire strait till we almost went out of business. Reggie Jones was elected mayor in 2013, never imagining something so extreme was headed his way. It was rough, <laughs> but it was, it was hard fault. Rebuilding was tough. We told them in order to bring the city back, you're going to have to put some skin in the game. But they did it in part with a $7 million bond issue, rebuilding City Hall, paving every street in the city, and putting up new signs, beautifying Delwood to rebuild property values. People have to understand this takes, even though the damage happened overnight, it takes longer than that to recover. One person who understands this tale of two cities is Kathy Jenkins. I put cheese in Mac. <laughs> what is Mac without cheese? A Delwood resident, she saw business plummet at her Ferguson restaurant. Before Mike Brown, I had three menus. I had a breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu. I opened at 7, I closed at 10 p.m. After Mike Brown, I was down to open at 11, closing at 6. But like the other people who could stick it out, things are getting better for Jenkins. Just this year, she extended hours, bringing back a dinner service. It's gotten better, but it took time. It took time. It was like breathing through a straw underwater. It is nice finally to come up and take a deep breath, you know? All right, so to give you an idea about some of the numbers, they say they used to have about 75 cars a week coming through this garage. That number dropped to about a dozen. They were lucky they had insurance to help them with rebuilding, and they had some sister garages that they could send their employees and those extra customers to. But they say not everybody out here was so lucky. Live tonight, Sarah Maki, five on your side.